Hello everyone, this is John Minyard. Uh, I'm back again to do another video. This time a video will show you how to enter new members and uh, go through a couple of the nuances about that. So let's just get started again. We're going to be at the main SkillsUSA website uh, for Alabama, alskillsusa.org. You're going to go hover over the About and the fly down menu. You'll go down to the third option, which is Membership. You'll click that. And when you'll go to the actual membership link that is working currently. Now when you get here, you're going to put in your uh, login credentials. And if you've not already got a login, you need to create your login. You can go watch another video that I've uh, already made and uploaded uh, about that. If you're interested and know how to do a, create a login. All right, so uh, mine's already auto-filled. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now this is... A little bit uh, confusing for someone the first time they use it there's a lot in here by the way uh, there's information uh, and I, I did skip something that I want to make sure I go over if you go back to the page before before I clicked in uh, there's actually down at the bottom there is a quick membership guide a quick start membership guide it helps you to be able to do all this it's going to show you the same steps that I'm going to be showing you on the video uh, I may actually skip a few things that I don't ever do, but um, let's go here. So you see this icon here for membership. It's got three heads, torsos, whatever you want to call that. Uh, there's the Chapter Excellence Program conference link. So the conference link is if you're going to register to compete in state or national conference. So this link is only useful for you during those times. So membership is done beginning at the, in the beginning of the school year uh, all the way up until I believe in February and uh, so you can enter in new members during that time uh, so it, it shows like our current membership count at our school that's what this little pie graph here is showing uh, so I'm just going to go straight in now there's other ways to navigate you can navigate uh, back to the home page by going to main and clicking that uh, and that's also the place where you would change your email or password if you need to do so. You can uh, navigate to adding and editing members and everything else that you might need. And one of the things that is becoming more popular, and I'm not going over that in this video because there's some videos on the, the actual SkillsUSA national uh, YouTube channel on how to upload, do a mass upload or a batch upload. So if you need to do that, there's a, there's ways to do a, a mass upload. So if you're interested in that, that was something you need to go and uh, I'm not versed on enough to be able to show you. I know there's some a basic Excel sheet format that you have to use, and uh, if you don't do it the right way, it won't it won't work. I know that much. But we're going to click membership. I found this to be the best way to navigate, and when you do that, it's going to take you to the main page with all the training programs under membership. So each training program is represented here. It shows currently how many members we have, uh, professional and student members, and then how many have not yet joined. And then also uh, there's a place over where you can actually click join now if there's some that's not joined and you need to join them. I'm going to show you that a process here in just a little bit. But I'm going to actually click into my page. Uh, we're going to click members you see I'm the Precision Machine and Technology. So we're going to go underneath the View Members page where it's just, just the word highlighted members. And when you click that, uh, there's a couple of ways to add a member. I'm going to show you for returning users the quickest way that I have found if you have students still in your program that were members last year in your program. You can go down to the very bottom, click Restore Members from Last Year, and it's going to open up a, a list of all the members from the previous year. I've already restored all of those that are currently still in my program. But we're going to just pretend, I'm going to just use one at the top of the alphabet. Uh, we're going to pretend this student is still in my program. And I'm going to take him back out in a few minutes. But you click as many, or if, if every one of them for some reason is still in your program, you just click this button here and it'll select all. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to select one. I'm going to say Restore Selected Individuals. Now, it, it doesn't show you. It tells you what was done, but it doesn't 
take you back to the training po page, you actually have to do that here. So if you need to restore more, you can go through and just double check your list, select those you need to restore, and do that process again. So we're going to return to the training program. So now I'm back in here where I selected that student. So here he is. I used Josh Banks. And if you uh, realize you've made a mistake or you've created a duplicate, all you've got to do now, don't wait till you've joined students, because if you don't do it now, uh, see all these where there's, it says join, there's actually a date assigned. If you don't have that date showing here, that means they've not been joined. And it also means you can delete that per person or you can edit their name if you made a mistake on the name. If you make a mistake on the name and then you join someone, you'll have to actually send an email to Nationals and they will have to correct the name at the National uh, Headquarters. So you need to make sure you remember that. So I'm going to delete this student because I don't want them in here. They're not supposed to be in here. All right. Now, that's the easy way to add members. The more difficult way uh, and the way that I usually do uh, when I'm adding new students is I click the add member button. When you do that, it pulls up this little uh, pop-up. That's why you gotta have pop-ups turned off. And in here you can go in and you can just say, I'm gonna call him John Smith. <laughs> I'm, real, I'm real original. And then you need to fill in a date of birth. You need to select gender. And then very important, make sure the correct division is selected. So if you're high school, you select high school. If you're post-secondary, you select post-secondary. And then you go in and uh, make sure that if they're a professional member, if you're selecting to add in an advisor in your program, another instructor, then you would need to change this to professional. And then after you've done all that, uh, I do recommend putting in an email address uh, and the other information. You do not necessarily have to. Um, you can actually just do basic information, believe it or not. You can only do first, last name, date of birth, and then just click save, and it'll take that. Uh, but if you ever join them for conference, you'll have to fill all that other information in later. So let's just go ahead and save that. Now, I can find that person quickly because uh, they're going to be on my next page, obviously. Here's John Smith that I just created. So there's some stuff, information, you know, information that's missing. And then if I need to edit, oh, I made a mistake, I can click edit, and it'll pull up that same menu, and I can go in and actually make a change. Only now. And if I join them, it will not let you do that. So what I actually want to do is delete them because I don't want to keep them in here. And then I would delete them. But before I do that, let me just go ahead and take you through the process of joining. So let's go back to the school. And it shows I have one more member. I'm going to click join now. When I do this, it's going to take me to... Uh, the page where you would normally have a place to, to join and if you'll notice it says they have either a duplicate or a e blank email address so what's missing well that one that uh, I had in there in my program actually he's our night instructor so it's telling me there's something wrong with one of our students or our members so let me go back to that training program let me address that information real quick so I didn't expect this video turning this so that was a problem I didn't know we had so let me go ahead and find Daniel Riggins there he is let's see if it's gonna allow me uh, it, I, it will not let you edit name but it needs an email so I'm going to have to do that real quick. All right. And then I'm going to save that. And that should clear us up. And now I can go back to school again. Let's try this one more time. Sorry, I don't know why we had this issue. Wasn't expecting that. Join now. Now, it takes me to where I can join the member. 
Of course, the only member I'm joining is the one that John Smith that I just added. Uh, I do not care to to do that all the way, but all you would do is click accept to join under the affiliation because we are different. If you're a high school, you may have to actually have a PO or ever how you're going to pay, uh, and you'll work that out within each school's different. So that's how to do this. It's a pretty easy process. Uh, it's a little more convoluted for someone who's new to this, but you'll get familiar with it. Just get in there, and most of the time, any mistakes you make can be corrected before you go too far. When you get to this page is when you you need to make sure that all mistakes have been uh, wiped out and everything's good to go. All right, well, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope this video has been a help to you.